What's going on guys? Welcome back. Max here. Hope you're all having a great day. It is time for some Makanuchi Monday. Uh, this is a fight that people have been telling me is the best fight in the whole series that does not involve like one of the main uh, characters and that is going to be Takeshi Sendo versus Akira Shigeta. It's a little bit shorter than I was expecting from an Ippo fight when people are saying like this one, this one, this one. I was expecting like another hour long epic but this one's about 15 minutes so pretty short and sweet by uh, Hajime no Ippo standards. Does not matter. I am still excited for this one. Hope that you guys are too. Let's go. Oh, and guys, I do apologize if my voice starts to give out. It's still recovering from some bronchitis that I had on the weekend. So uh, hopefully it lasts for the video. There's not much preamble to this one. We kind of jump straight into the fight. So Shigeta is a southpaw fighter, which is really, really hard against the right-hander because you don't often get to spar with that matchup. Not as much as a lefty gets to spar with a right-hander. So sparring a lefty, uh, there's different things they can do that you can't. There's things you can do that they can't, but it messes up your range a lot. Not used to seeing that right hand so close. Yeah, your rhythm's off, your distance gets thrown off. It's... So if you, can, if you can close the distance on them, then yeah, it does get... Uh... Ipo's right, it does. It takes away that technique and that, that weird sort of advantage there. So this is after uh, Ippo and Sendo's first fight, where we really did see the difference between the arm strength and the leg strength. However, I feel like Sendo has evolved a lot since then. The dangerous thing with the southpaw is they have that big power left hand right to the liver. There's no wind up like you have to do with a left hook. As, a, as an orthodox fighter, they have that cross straight down to the liver. But Sendo has the smash. A big Razor Ruddick style smash. Oh. He throws the smash. It gets deflected. Smart play. Smart play by, uh, by uh, uh, Shigeta. Sorry, I was going to say Akira. Smart play by Shigeta that Harry to get out of the way as opposed to trying to stand and take it. Because even if you stand and block, you're going to take so much damage from that punch. And I guess it's a short one. I can pause a little bit. So we do use that in Muay Thai as well. Like that's one of the reasons you parry it to the outside. Like we'll parry it to the outside a big power punch and then come in, lock up a clinch and start to knee here. It takes away a lot of the damage, pushes them off balance a little bit and lets you get in some really good shots. Like from there, uh, Shigeta could have parried that punch and then again thrown that that southpaw cross straight to the body, straight to the liver, done a whole lot of damage to uh, Sendo. Yeah, you don't see that much, not in the first round, especially Sendo put up against the ropes like that. シゲタのやつ超熱く<笑><笑> I mean, everyone knows that Sendo has the smash, right? That's just the one really big punch you have to look out for with him. Is that huge, powerful smash. Because the whole crowd so quiet. Yeah. Yeah, that right jab, that southpaw jab is just keeping Sendo at bay. Interrupt your rhythm, not letting him get in to throw those punches. 
So Sendo's trying to close the distance, take away that south four advantage here. Damn, that right straight down the middle. Gets inside that left hook there, or it gets inside that smash. I have a suspicion about Shigeta here. I have a suspicion about Shigeta because they keep drawing a lot of attention to how his right hand is so much better than what a southpaw should be. I have a suspicion. I want to see if it gets confirmed. There's that big body shot. See that left body shot. Comes off the weak side of an orthodox fighter. Also as a southpaw. Oh. I missed that. I missed what dropped it. Oh, clinches up. Just manages to avoid getting KO'd by grabbing the clinch there. Yeah, it's not something you normally see from Sendo tying up. I feel like that's the wrong thing to say to someone like Sendo. Although, getting, again, getting in Sendo's head, playing those mind games. Yeah, Sendo's letting his emotions get better on him, and this could be trouble. Starts just swinging away at the guard there. Keeps missing with that short rear hook there. Yeah, he knows Sendo, he knows Sendo's prideful, he knows he can get in his head by uh, taunting him a little bit. Damn, that big right cross, uh, that right jab again, through the middle there, getting in between those big wide punches from Sendo. Ah, I was right, that's what I thought. I thought that's what was going to happen. Yeah, so, uh, right-handers learning to fight southpaw is not totally unusual. It's very, very common in Muay Thai, actually, uh, because you have the big left kick to the body, and again, that matchup, because as a right-hander, you don't get to spar that many lefties, but as a lefty, you get to spar a lot of right-handers. Uh, and especially if you watch high-level Muay Thai, you see a disproportionate amount of uh, left-handed fighters, and that's because not all of them are left-handed. Like uh, Senshai, who is arguably the greatest of all time of Muay Thai, is a left-hander, but he's actually right-handed. He just learned to fight left-handed. Yod Sanklai, another one, uh, righty, but learned to fight left-handed. And in some gyms, if you come in and say, I want to be a pro fighter, they'll start you fighting southpaw regardless, just because of that uh, that matchup experience and those big power lefts to the liver to the soft side there. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting was they were going to come out and say that, oh, he's a, a right-handed southpaw. It's, I don't know how unusual it is in boxing, but in Muay Thai, it's, it's fairly common. Puts that power hand, that dominant hand, and the guys in Muay Thai will use it to, to trap and parry punches as well because it's a more educated hand. And then they just learn to punch strong off this hand, right? But this is still their more educated hand for the, the traps, the parries, the fakes, the guard manipulation. Really, really cool that they, are. they put a fighter like that into this. That's not something I would have really expected to see, but the way they kept drawing attention to like, his right hand is too good for a southpaw. I was like, I wonder, I wonder if that's what they'll do. Oh, Sendo's gonna be pissed now. Shigeta's barely gonna scratch on him. Yeah, 
I'm assuming she's like Sendo's mom or grandma. I'm assuming I like her. Smart coaches are like, pick that up. It's not always super obvious. So, how's Sendo gonna get out of this? Alright, we got round three now. Sendo comes charging now. See, he still can't find that range against the lefty. Again, closing the distance on that south or taking away that uh, that advantage of the right hand. Yeah, that was his, uh, his issue against Ippo too, is he doesn't use his legs, he just uses his arms. Damn, big hook, big uppercut, pops the chin up. Oh, another hook. I like that hook, uppercut, hook, finishes with that left cross, beautiful combination. Damn, Sendo is in trouble. How does he come back from this one? Big power left hand and gets the clinch, ties him up. It's a bad look for the champ. <laughs> Shakes free, puts together against the ropes now. He comes that overhand off the front hand, off the lead hand here. It looks like he's like loaded up from the back, even though he's southpaw, that hand's in front. He's loaded it up to come from the back. All the power slips underneath. He's gonna pull it back and hit him with another jab on the way in. Try and keep him at that long distance. <laughs> Sendo got some legs! Nice, gets that lead hand up on the inside of the punch. Cuts the angle to the inside, takes away. She gets his advantage by closing the distance. Big body shot. So Sendo's only hit him twice. Both of them body shots. One of them almost dropped him. That one did drop him. Like, Shigeta's not very uh not very durable. To be fair though, Sendo does have that one punch power. Sendo's been training his legs since his last fight with Ipo, huh? I mean, I guess it makes sense. We did watch the two Sendo fights, and in the, the, uh, the second fight, he was able to use his legs a lot better. So it does make sense. But I guess this is the first fight where we get to see it. How much he's evolved since his last fight with Ipo. So Shigeta has recovered from the big body shot, or as you know, he's on the back foot, he looks a bit concerned. 
Oh, he's gonna hit the cross counter. Shigeta's looking for that cross counter diving on the inside. Damn! There's those legs from Sendo. Takes his head off! Oh, Shigeta's in trouble now. Yeah, he did not. Damn! Left hook, pop the head up, right straight, just decapitates him. Big. Oh, damn. Shigeta's out, Sendo's just not left to hit the canvas. Even though this is animated, dude, that's hard to see. Oh. He doesn't even know he's getting hit anymore. Come on, throw. this is this is when you throw in the towel. This is when you have to be a good coach and throw in the towel. Like, don't let this go on this long. The referee should stop it or something. Because I know it's animated, but I, I, you know, you see things like that happen in real life, and then you make those. Those links and it just brings you back to times you've seen it happen in real life, and it's it's hard to watch, man. Like if anyone remembers uh, Dan Henderson and Michael Bisping, that's a that's a big one for me from back in the day when Hendo H bombed him and then jumping elbow. Oh. Wasn't expecting it to end quite like that. Damn the carbs on Sendo. He just broke Shigeta. Oh, that is a badass line from Sendo to finish on. Holy crap! That makes uh that makes Ippo's victories over him just all the more impressive. Anyway, guys, there you go. Sendo versus Shigeta. Thank you so much for uh requesting this one. I loved that was awesome. Short sweet but as always with Ipo, super hype <laughs> anyway guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to let me know leave a like comment down below what other fights you'd like to see and then subscribe so when we get around to doing the scenes that you want to see you don't miss out till next time stay awesome have a great day bye